Hey, Mini Bash, it's the 15th of December 2023. I just thought this was really interesting to share with you. This occurred the day after I uploaded a video talking about the Tesla cars being drawn to this location on Long Island, etc., etc. Uh, I just thought this was pertinent enough to share with you because this happened the next day. If you own a Tesla, we have breaking news you need to hear this morning. Tesla is recalling 2 million of its cars to fix an issue with a system that makes sure drivers stay attentive while using autopilot. And so this amounts to nearly all of the vehicles sold here in the U.S. Tesla vehicles, this is according to CNBC. This recall comes after a Now, I want you to notice a particular by... thing here. Notice that the models are Y, S, and X. Why would you have your first model called the Y model? Well, because it's about genetics. The Y chromosome is the male gene, okay? That determines the male sex. So he has three models that are recalled. A Y, the S, which I immediately thought of the serpent. And what does he wear to Halloween last year? Remember that? He had the Baphomet on his uh, outfit there. And, of course, that's androgynous, right? The male, female, the whole Luciferian, Kabbalistic. This is their worldview. This is, like, what they believe. And so, you know, you're seeing that Elon Musk is, without a doubt promoting this trans luciferian kabbalistic agenda is just no way around it i mean it's to change the whole structure of how a human family unit is supposed to operate it is literally lucifer creating the world in his image because as everything god does he inverts and perverts he can't create himself, so he takes what God has made and corrupts it and pollutes it and disrupts it and twists it and makes it into his image. And so, you know, you can't get around this, man. The why, the man, Jesus, he is the last Adam. We are watching the final push for the serpent, the devil, Lucifer, all the fallen, the Nephilim, their agenda is to keep everyone else from coming to the knowledge of Jesus Christ and understanding that he is the Savior, the Redeemer. Just think about it all. You know, that's all I'm really saying. And there's a ton connected to Elon even. Elon is directly in the Bible, that name. If you're interested in reading the Bible... <laughs> which is really how I'm able to discern these things. And there's a lot of connections to a lot of different things, but I just found it ironic that Tesla recalled 2 million cars because of the autopilot when all the cars in the movie went on autopilot to Long Island and smashed into each other subsequently. Just think about it, man. Musk is the X-Man. He is. X is going to offer you banking, cryptocurrency, all financial, you know, instruments. XAI, don't forget XAI. He even names his kids X this and Xa, which is like this dark star god. The X chromosome, I mean, it's just everywhere. You can't deny it. And then, of course, we have coming up next April, the giant X that crosses the United States. I'm really beginning to think that that does represent something big, if nothing gigantic happens before then. But we'll see what happens, as always. So, you know, the X-Man is one to watch. I'm telling you, he was in Israel last week. He's going along with the whole, you know, narrative they're setting with what happened in Israel. I'd say that's quite telling. But don't worry, Tesla's got an upgrade for every single vehicle ever sold in America. I want you to think about that. An upgrade to every single Tesla in America. 
Well, you're right. This does affect every single Tesla that's out there, but this is important now. You will not have to take your Tesla into the shop to get something done. Instead, this is an over-the-air, an Internet software push, an upgrade that you will get. Uh, some users say that they're already getting that upgrade. It went out as early as last night. An immediate push, a software upgrade. Importantly here, Tesla's uh, CEO, uh, Elon Musk, put out a, a post on X saying that the company has a moral obligation to continue to improve safety systems. And what might that moral obligation be? The words Noahide and Kabbalah and even Luciferian and Satanic come to mind when I think of what their moral obligations are. This is just these powers and principalities and rulers taking God's word, his prophecy, which is unfolding, and they spin and invert and carry the narrative. It's all to deceive the world. Like I said, if, if they can simply keep you from salvation in Jesus, then they've won in their mind. Death, where is thy victory? Well, that's their victory. There's so much we could talk about, but I really did think this was worthy of sharing. The why, the serpent, and the woman, right? Think about it. Enmity between his seed and her seed. And that is the wall that Jesus destroys and gives you peace. So I hope you seek him, and I hope you find him, because... He's the only way, the only truth, and the only life. God bless each and every one of you. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God,